everybody. It's so good to be back with you and to be able to have our my first week back. It's great to be under the tent. Um, I want to thank um, Alavi and his brother Tano and Jeff for spending quite a bit of time and quite a bit of effort getting this tent up. But isn't it beautiful? We The church now owns this tent. So one thing I would say, too, is if you know people that are looking for a venue for their family reunion this summer or a graduation party, um, we will make it available to for, for groups to, um, or a meeting or something that they want to have. Um, just like we make Bailey Hall available, we would make this available also. This, and, um, I hope you're all able to stay for the cookout afterwards. I have a little disappointing news. Um, we were supposed to have a baby shower and you will see that our dessert today is a cake that welcomes a baby whose mother is not here. <laughs> um, we just found out that the Woods went to a, another family celebration in Connecticut. So um, we will have their gifts. We'll get them to Christy for sure. And we'll take a picture of the cake before we cut it and make sure she sees that. Um, but um, our uh, Christy's, for those of you who don't know, sh uh, she's due in a month. So um, we will continue, obviously, to hold her and her baby girl that's coming in a prayer. Um, I encourage, did we bring out the clipboard, Sandy? No? To sign up for greeter and coffee hour and flowers and stuff, we can, uh, if you go into the bathroom, stop and sign up. <laughs> the bathrooms are in there. Um, and then we're also gathering, and the box is out there um, beyond the food table. Um, is the box for the summer lunch pre-wrapped snacks. We're gearing up because summer lunch is going to start in about a month's time, uh, four weeks. Um, we will be beginning the summer lunch program at Arlington High School. If you Also, if you know of any um, children anywhere between the ages of 1 to 18 who could benefit from the summer lunch program, encourage them to go to either Sunderland Elementary, Fisher Elementary, Arlington High School, or Happy Days, or call our office and um, we can get you an application um, for the summer lunch program. That is all the announcements I have. Anybody else have something they need to make sure we know? Okay. Well, then let's get started with, uh, and the reason for the two mics again is this is going on Zoom. Our Zoom friends are with us and it will be on uh, GNAT TV uh, later this week. So let's start by uh, singing our opening hymn, number 191 in the red hymnal. Um, it is Jesus Loves Me. Okay. 
Please join me in the call to worship. Let the Creator be home among us. May God's love shape our every thought. May our actions lead to God's justice. Words of life. Dwell within us. Amen. God's love is our nourishment. God's truth, our liberation. God's words, our wisdom. God's peace, our home. Welcome to the love of God. Amen. I invite you now to join me in saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, today is Celebration Sunday, and what that means for all of us is that today marks the end of the 2021-22 church school year. And um, in order to celebrate that, I'm going to invite Tammy, who is our Christian ed person um, on our church council, and she's led all of our efforts this year in uh, working with our children, come up and recognize all of our learners. Yeah. Hello, how's everybody doing? So today we're doing Celebration Sunday and we're recognizing the children and we're having our big um, church picnic after. So this year we did a lot. We did our play, which was so much our Christmas pageant. And then we did the Easter egg hunt and that was fun. And we've been doing Sunday school one, um, one day a month because one Sunday a month because there's not very many children anymore. So we've been having a good time with that. So we'd like to do, we want to do those first and then we'll do the other, okay. Um, so we're gonna call the children up. We're gonna stand up here with me, okay. Chen, come on up. One of our little Sunday schoolers. You, Chen. Kelly, come on up. Stay up, hey, Chen. Chen, come on up. Chen. Chen, come back up. I'm just gonna stay up here. Celia. Izzy. No, it's Kelly. Come on up. Stay back up here. Caroline. Go way out. Try going that way. Levi. Come on up. It's okay. <laughs> you got something for you, Levi. <laughs> and Vera, you want and Vera? <laughs> Levi and Vera are two newest children. Yeah. And, and their mom just told me that the, one of the things that brought us to this church was our Easter egg hunt. Yeah. <laughs> And which is really how we started here was because Scott used to take Kelly to the Easter egg hunt. So that's how we got started here too. So now we know it's a good thing. Do you want to so, um, stand together? And then we're also <laughs> going to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we also have it, Scott, come up. Scott, you come up too. We also have a tradition that um, when a student finishes third grade, we present them with a Bible. And so I'm going to take this with me. Go see Celia. Celia is our student who is finishing third grade this year. What's going on? Yeah. Ooh, got knocked off. What's that? There it is. It's a very testy little thing. If you got, that blue light goes out, it went out again. Out again. Can you hit the, that button, Tammy? Which one? That one you just hit the power? Is the blue light come on? No. It's not dead. It's, 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 on, it's, connection. On. it's on now. No, it's not on. Oh, she, just, she just had it for a minute. I feel like it. Yep, it's back on. Celia, so, yeah, I'm going to have you come to me because it seems like when I move, things go oh, haywire. So, today's your day to get your Bible. And so I'm going to. Angie, this, that is your Bible. 
Thank you. You're welcome. And I have a little prayer for you. Receive the word of God, Celia. We hope you... Uh, hopefully you all can hear me before I get over there. We hope you will learn its stories and study its words. Its stories belong to us all. And these words that are inside there speak to us all. They tell us who we are. They tell us that we belong to one another, for we are the people of God. May these words be a blessing to you, Celia. You have been, certainly been a blessing to this congregation. Congratulations. I want to have Tammy and Scott stay here for a sec. We usually now we usually had um, in years past pre-COVID, we had usually a number of uh, Sunday school teachers. This year, however, Tammy and Scott have been our Sunday school program. <laughs> and so um, as an expression of our deep gratitude for the ways they've touched so many children's lives, um, I want to give you, Sue's got, we have flowers for you. Thank you guys. Very much. And we have a gift card in here. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for all you did. You, you made it possible for our children to feel welcome here. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Well, one of the um, things we do best for each other is hold each other in prayer, and that's in good times and in hard times. And so today, uh, I lift up in joy the Federated Church of Castleton and their pastor, the Reverend Rob Noble. I give thanks for the hard work on Friday of Alavi and Jeff and Tano who put up this tent. We also give thanks for um, the eight students and two teachers from Arlington Memorial High School. Um, and for all they did this community service day, if you look around, you can see their fingerprints on everything. They brought us that picnic table. They set up this volleyball net. They brought us out the um, vegetable stand. They mulched the gardens. Um, they put up our, sa our sandwich board. They did the lettering for the hymnals you got on the, that rack. They put all those on there. Um, so they were quite busy. Um, and we really, and they moved some other heavy things we had. So we really appreciate all their hard work and give thanks for that. We obviously give thanks for all of our children and our teachers. Um, by way of concern, I would lift up our friend Elaine, who's been having laryngitis and coughing and everything going on. I, I'm pretty sure she's on Zoom, but um, we hold Elaine in healing prayer. We hold Steve Grisp in prayer. He is currently at um, Berkshire Medical Center. So we hold Steve and Allison in prayer. We hold Karen's friend Alona in, in prayer. She is a patient right now at Glens Falls Hospital. Um, and then we are mindful that there's a lot of hard stuff going on in the world and a lot of pain and struggle for folks. And so we would pray that peace would prevail on earth. Does anybody have additional joys or concerns you'd like to add? Diane. Prayers for Penny. Others. Tammy. Um, prayers for Izzy's dad shift had surgery. Uh, Gloria. For cancer victims, especially Linda and Michael. Cancer victims, especially Linda and Michael. Ray Beth. For the families that lost people in Buffalo. In Buffalo, the prayer, prayers for the families of the victims in Buffalo. Anyone else? Then let us raise these prayers and the ones we hold within us. Almighty God, we pray for children. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Tammy, I'm falling down on the job. Okay, here we go. Um, you guys, you can leave your bags here, but we've got a little project for you um, to keep you...
to get you looking a little, around a little bit at our property and seeing the wonder of God all over. Um, Tammy's got a scavenger hunt list, and you're going to go on a scavenger hunt with her. And she, um, you're either going to bring the items back that you find, or Tammy's going to help you take a picture of them. So you're going to help. You're all going to work together to find them. Girls, that way. Want to go on a scavenger hunt? <laughs> Everybody's over there. Yep. And all, all the all the items are on this side of the road. So so we won't have any crossing across the street. Um, but they're gonna go look for some items that can be found on our property. Um now I will lift up in prayer our joys and concerns. Almighty God, we pray for children everywhere, our own children, children of people we know, children we are aware of all over the world who have somehow been damaged or outcast in their own land. Grant such children a safe journey to a new place or new family where trust and laughter may grow. Help us to welcome strangers in our midst, those who come as refugees and those who come as seekers. Help us also to act on our concern for those we silently carry within us, as well as those we've named today. That would include prayers for the victims, uh, the families of those victims of the shootings in Buffalo. We pray healing prayers for Elaine and Steve, for Alona and Penny, for Chip, and for all cancer victims, especially Linda and Michael. We also pray that our, we will find a way to live in peace together. Oh God, we wanna love our families and friends, plant our gardens and do the tasks before us. These things seem good to us, but to achieve a purity of heart that often seems to be beyond us. O oh God, for whom all things are possible, come and be with us and show us the way. We each here have a place to live. Help us with the building of our souls. We plant and look forward to harvesting fruitful gardens. Help us tend the growth of our spirits. We know the workings of this world. Help us to know the workings of your world. We have been blessed today and we lift up in joy and thanksgiving the Federated Church of Castleton and their pastor, Rob. We give thanks for the hard work of tent raising by Alavi and Jeff and Tano. We give thanks for the dedication and the hard work of the eight students and two teachers from Arlington High School. And we especially give thanks on this day for the blessing of the children and for those who are dedicated to teaching them. Oh God, may we care about ourselves and dedicate our attention to all of our relationships, our friends and our families. Open wide our hearts. We pray all this in Jesus' name, amen. So our God, does not offer, does not give as the world gives. In the chaos, God is our peace. In our fear, God is our confidence. In our weakness, God is our strength. We offer our gifts either in the plate when you came in or electronically or by mail. All those gifts we offer for the glory of God. I invite you to now join me in the doxology. Almighty and gracious God, we have been gifted in so many ways. We have been gifted with talents, 
that we offer. We have been gifted with treasure that we share. And we have been gifted with the knowledge that you are with us always. And so we ask your blessing on the gifts we've given today and we will give in the week and weeks to come. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So now I invite you to uh, turn to page 141 as we sing together, Children of the Heavenly Father. Today's Psalter comes from Psalm 67. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, has blessed us. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth be here. And today's gospel reading comes from John chapter 14, verses 23 through 29. Jesus answered him, those who love me will keep my word and my father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs so that when it does occur, you may believe. Sorry, y'all. It's supposed to call them back. This is Tammy. She has to actually use this at school. Oh, God. <laughs> Probably on the playground. They're all going to help me. 
the reason I'm calling the children back is because the children and I together are going to do the sermon from their scavenger hunt. Come on up here, Levi and Vera. You can come up here because you're going to help me do my sermon. Oh, nope, you got to bring that with you. Is that, was that one of the things you had to find? I'm not sure. Was that one of the things that he had to Oh, okay. That's what he could find is a stick. Okay. <laughs> They're going to get the kids? How many pictures did you get? Did you? What do you got in your hand? The pine cone? Oh, good. Great. There you go. So the scavenger hunt items, let me just, can I borrow your list? Yeah. That they're going to help me build, a, and you can all be thinking too, because you can help us too. Um, the, the items they were supposed to find, and they couldn't necessarily bring all of them back to me, but they could take, Tammy took a picture, and Scott was going to take a picture of the ones that they shouldn't touch, um, or they couldn't reach. One was going to be, they're supposed to find a brown leaf, so we know they found that. A lilac branch. You got a picture? Good. A rock as big as your hand. You, you couldn't find, find any? Them, I don't know. If they... Yeah, they <laughs> yeah the little, the big as their hand, not as big as my hand. Um, and if they went, you'll see here in a second, um, I can tell you where they might have found one. Um, a little pine cone, a bird's nest. Now, did you find it? Did you see it? It's hidden really well. That lilac bush that's next to the former Christianette office, which, by the way, is now the office. Um, it's being used by a local therapist who's now in there three days a week doing a practice. If anybody needs a referral, let me know, because um, she used to work at Katie Baruti is her name. and She used to work at um, UCS, and now she's having seen clients there. And... Um, but inside that branch, right, like kind of part that touches the little roof, there is a bird's nest there. They were supposed to look for a stick as long as your arm. So Levi found one that's a part of a stick? Hey, Scott, did anybody in your group find a stick? Oh, good. Bring it on up. Come on up. Bring all your stuff with you. They're supposed to find a stick as long as from their elbow to their wrist. Now, that would be a long one for... Oh. Wow. And then, yes, that's okay. Come on up. Bring all your stuff with you that you found. And then, the, did you find the compost pile? Yes. Okay. That's, like, that's That was the yuckiest part. There it is. There's one there, and then that other thing that's behind it is also compost pile. It's not compost in there. Um, a recycling bin? Yeah. That's where I think you could have found the rock as big as your hand. You found one over there. Oh, Who's yeah. got the rock? No, I oh, you didn't. Take, you didn't. Uh, picture. Oh, your picture. Great. And then um, a maple tree. Did uh, anybody know which one was a maple? That's got a leaf. Oh, it's got the leaf. Great. It's a maple tree. It's the beautiful maple tree that's um, dedicated to Pat Owen in front of the parsonage. And then the last one, you have to know where to look. And I had to tell Tammy where to look. Oh, you got the lilac. Oh, you did take some lilac. Great. So did we. Oh, good. Se senior meals coolers. You'd have to know to look in the garage because that is where um, we are the drop-off pickup site where not only for the senior meals that happen inside, but the ones that get delivered to our friends throughout Arlington, Sandgate, and Sunderland. Yeah, so every every Tuesday they bring one, the coolers and, and then they come back and they switch off on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So um, they're coming all the way from Bennington with all that food. So now we're going to talk about, we're going to put, do you all know what a sermon is? No. No. I don't blame you. I don't think I paid attention to sermons when I was your age either. Um, a sermon is, I don't even like to call it a sermon. I like to call it a message. A sermon sounds a little bit too much like I'm going like this and telling you what to do and what not to do. A message is one that hopefully we hear stuff in the Bible and we know what's been happening in the world and our lives and we try to tie it all together and figure out what God wants us to do. And so you all are going to help me do the message. So I want you to think, think about, pick one of the items that you had to go looking for in your head. Think about, everybody got one of them? Just think of one in your head. And tell me one of them. Celia, what's one thing you found? Pine cone. A pine cone. Okay, let's talk about, 
you, you can help me too. Why would we have pine cones? What are pine cones? What do pine cones tell us? Where do they come from? A pine tree. Yeah. So we have a bunch of them out there. Back in our back deck, we could have had you know you could have shoveled um, a bucket full on our deck. Um, but pine cones are a symbol of what's come out of a tree. And, and trees, we're all, we're, we are really lucky, aren't we? Because we have lots of trees here. Like there's some people that live in cities and they don't have any trees or very few trees. We get to have lots of trees. And trees are a sign of life. Um, there's such a thing in the Bible called the tree of life. Um, and what it kind of tells us, and remember too, were all these trees like this in January? No. What and and you guys, some of you have leaves and stuff. A maple tree, the same way. Life, like we go through cycles in life, and God has different times in life. We have times when things are green and look beautiful. We have other times when the trees all turn that gorgeous oranges and reds and brown reds and um, yellows in fall, and then in the winter, what happens? Yeah. They they kind they, you know what they kind of do they don't really die they kind of go to sleep for the winter just like animals go to sleep for the winter trees go to sleep for the winter like this beautiful right behind Walt's head in the camera the swamp pink bush right there isn't that gorgeous that's only going to be like that mm, for a couple weeks I think what that will what? not stay that pink um, and actually the tree that's right oh right over in that corner right there near the food. That was um, pink when I left to go to North Carolina, and when I came back, it wasn't pink anymore. Really? So <laughs> that's how fast it can happen. So we're, things are always changing, like the stuff outside. Now, the, one of the reasons I wanted you to look for the recycling bin and the compost is we're supposed to take care of God's earth, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Isn't that part of what we do? The compost is where you throw all, what do you, what do you put in compost? Like banana peels? Yep. Apple cores. Yep. Coffee grounds, um, egg shells, all sorts of stuff. The, the skin from, um, you know, your, the peel from your oranges, whatever you, anything that came from a plant or an egg <laughs> can mo mostly be put in the compost pile. And the idea is that that's, do you know how a compost pile works? Any of you have one at home? What he does, you put that stuff in there, and if you treat it the right way, and you turn it over, and you put other stuff like leaves and stuff with it, eventually you get to use it and spread it out and use it to help grow more things. Kind of like dirt. So, kind of, it, but it's really, it's really um, healthy. It makes all the plants grow really big and strong. So, and um, anybody here compost? You guys compost? Have you yeah. successfully gotten to the point where you actually have compost to put on your plant life? Ray Beth, you have? Yay for you. It's a process. It takes a while for that to happen. So you have to be dedicated. So that's a good thing. And then the recycling bin is because there's lots of stuff we throw in the garbage that might be able to be reused. So we put them in this recycling bin with the hope that they're going to get become something else. And that's kind of, God's always saying to us, you have possibility. We all do. Every day we wake up. And we might be something a little bit different and a little more useful and a little stronger. So those are all things. So the, the, and how about the bird's nest you couldn't see? What's a bird's nest? What, do you, what, what happens in a bird's nest? Well, mama birds usually lay eggs and then give birth. Yes. So the nest that's there, we ha there might even be, a, I think there might be a nest in this tree too. Sometimes there's one in this one. But what, a nest is what? A home. Yep. That's a home for birds and for their um, yep. little baby birds. So we buy in Vero, we're trying, we saw a bird. Ah. And we were thinking, remember, that it was heading towards the nest. But, it, but it wasn't going there. So sometimes we're not always going straight to home, right? <laughs> sometimes we're taking a detour before we get home. Um, so, so thank you all for finding all those great things. And I want, and um, in, your, in your bag, there are some things to look for this summer while you're out having fun, exploring, playing outside. Um, there's some things you can look for. Great. So I'm going to say a prayer and then you all can go back to your seats.
Loving God, there's so much of you out in creation. We find you in a pine cone. We find you in a bird's nest. We find you in a lilac bush. And we know that you are growing and living among us. And so we ask that you continue to bless us this day and all summer long. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everybody. So now I'd invite us to sing our closing hymn, number 526, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. <sighs> May the love of God go with us. May God's love saturate our memories. May God's love overwhelm us. God is love. As we carry God's love with us, may we carry God's love to the world around us. Go forth in the love of God. Amen. Amen. And let us sing together our sung benediction. Let there be peace on earth.
Well, before we go, I and, and ask for a blessing on the food we are about to eat in the hands that have brought it here to this place. May the peace of God be with you always. Let us go now, offering each other words of God's peace, and let's dig in. Let's dig in.